We called the timeout, and we got over to the bench, and it was like, no more layups. If you're on the floor and you're giving up layups, you gotta come out. And so everybody was like, no more layups, no more layups. You know, we gotta knock someone on their ass. McHale is doubled. Dennis Johnson is short with it. Here's Kareem, outlet to Worthy. Ram it. And now let's watch it. I'm going in, I figure it's gonna be a hard foul, so I'm bracing myself a little bit for a hard foul. I mean, that's just what we did back then. Then when I got upended, I remember seeing my foot almost hit the rim. So I'm thinking, this is not gonna end well. And I hit the ground and like, hey, nothing happened. So then I zero in on Mikhail. When I saw Kurt pop up, I pushed Kurt, trying to break up a fight. So where he couldn't get to Mikhail. I was pissed. If Worthy hadn't pushed me, I had every intention to go flying into that scrum that was down at the Celtic bench, because I thought that that was a cheap shot and something you don't do. That was a nasty, dirty play, and I wish I had not been in the way of Kurt going to get Kevin. You know, he deserved an ass whooping for that one. Goes over to Rampus, and Rampus is sick. He goes around filthy people all through the ball game, but when he gets that, he cannot take it. James Worthy, my first question is, seeing that clip, why did you why did you push him out the way? Why did you let Rambus go and get his revenge? I didn't even know that I had pushed Rambus. I was I was uh, I was my first playoffs. I was extremely excited, animated, and when that happened, I turned so quickly and I just re reacted. I don't know if I was trying to break up the fight or whether I thought Kurt was a Celtic, but that's one that I regret to this day because I know Kurt wanted to get him and he deserved to. I, I mean, that really bothered me when I saw that clip. Big game, James. See, these kids today, <laughs> they think Cavs-Warriors is a rivalry. I sound like Uncle Gus. That's a fire. <laughs> right. they, they don't make rivalries like that anymore. Why, why was Celtics-Lakers so much more than just your garden variety NBA rivalry between two great teams? Well, I think at the time, the NBA was starting to emerge as, as a popular league again. Commissioner Stern had consummated a, a, a TV contract. Uh, Bird and Magic had played collegiately. You had the blue-collar Boston Celtics versus the, the Showtime kind of a street ball players that everyone wanted to classify it. It was a culture class. It was a yeah. culture class. It was Boston. We know uh, the racial tension of the history in Boston. Uh, I, I remember as a kid watching all those, uh, those the, the busing of schools and then hearing stories about Bill Russell living there. And then Los Angeles a little bit more diverse and more, uh, more, a little bit more liberal, if you will. So that made for a outstanding rivalry, given the fact that the Celtics had dominated right. uh, the, the Lakers throughout the, the, the 60s. And, and so we knew we were playing not only for ourselves, but we were playing for Elgin Baylor and Jerry West and all those guys that, that never won. Obviously, what we love to do in the media and even fans is we love to compare errors, even though it's probably problematic to do so. Mm -hmm. um, of course, a lot of people, a lot of old heads are chiming in <laughs> about me. whether or not their championship yeah. team could beat this version of the Warriors. So go ahead. Where do you stand about the Showtime Lakers versus this current version of the so, Warriors? So tough. I hate to get into this argument because... And your, I, your boy I, Magic said that you guys would sweep I just, I just wish the good Lord would give us like 20 minutes so we can go out there and play. But I got to tell you, this Golden State Warriors team is the new prototype dominant team. I mean, everyone can shoot the three. They defend, they run. But I'm going to go with my 80s um, Lakers, and I'll tell you why. If you allow us to play the style of game that we played in the 80s with the physicality and allow us to check and play the way, you know, you play at the YMCA and the Boys Club, everyone thinks that the three wall ball would be a problem, and it would. We didn't shoot the three ball. Mm -hmm. But we could possess small lineups, uh, and we would uh, make you play Kareem. We would wait if we weren't running, and we would force a guy like Durant to have to pay him every possession. We'd also put a lineup where Steph Curry would have to guard Magic, and we would post him up five, go? six, seven times in a row. We had Michael Cooper, who was a minister of defense. I think we are one of the one teams 
that could play with them. So Magic's in charge. Uh, you had Lonzo Ball work out the other day. Mm -hmm. De'Aaron Fox uh, and Josh Jackson work out today for the Lakers. You advise in Magic, what direction should the Lakers go? You know, I haven't studied college basketball, you know, like I used to. Uh, I have seen Ball. Uh, I have seen, you know, Jackson. Um, you know, Ball is an exceptional player for this era. An unselfish player who enhances everybody around him. Uh, he's strong off of both legs, which is which is rare. He can he he can he has vision. I'm not going to compare him to Magic, but he has vision like Magic Johnson, a lot like Jason Kidd. So I like him, but I have not talked to uh, Rob Belinka or Magic about what they're planning on doing because I know they haven't made a decision yet. Mm -hmm. But I think any guard that they, you know, the kid out of Kansas, you know, I think any guard that they that they choose uh, will fit in and give us some flexibility as to what we're going to do next year. I think right. that's the big year as far as free agency. Well, let's get this thing back so we can get Celtics Lakers again because the say. Celtics are on yeah. their way back, yeah. well on their way back. Lakers, yeah, no got doubt. Excited about do. 20 minutes, they, thinking like what would happen. They started. <laughs> the Celtics started to grow. Yeah. When we were still trying to win with Kobe, they were rebuilding. So right. they they've arrived a little quicker.